When it comes to checking the concealed connections of a socket outlet circuit, Martindale have been in the business longer than anybody else and offer a full range of solutions, such as these socket testers. These are ideal, for example, for identifying socket outlets which may require a more detailed inspection as part of periodic inspection and testing. All socket testers check the polarity of the wiring, in other words that line and earth and line and neutral are not reversed. Some offer additional features. They may include a buzzer in addition to LEDs to indicate a good socket, or they may show a combination of indicators to identify if a particular fault is present. There is one fault that cannot be detected by a socket tester, or in fact by any other piece of test equipment, without following a more complex testing procedure, and that is if the earth and neutral wires have been swapped. Now this is because the earth and neutral are common at the substation, if not closer, so electrically they're indistinguishable. When selecting a socket tester, it's important to understand the different types available and their capabilities and limitations. There are three main categories of socket testers, simple, advanced and professional. The key differentiator is in the ability to measure and display either ranges or numerical values for earth fault loop impedance. All socket testers will show you the absence of an earth. The Martindale EZ150 will show you how good your earth is and the EZ2500 will give you numerical values for certification and reporting. A reliable earth loop impedance measurement is important to prove that the overcurrent protection devices achieve a fast enough disconnection time to avoid electric shock. In the case of an earth fault, loop impedance values must be less than those specified in the BS7671 Wiring Regulations Amendment 3 2015. Earth loop values higher than those in the regs, even by just a few ohms, can cause problems with disconnection times and therefore socket testers capable of indicating earth loop impedance values in this range reveal a lot more about the electrical safety of the installation than just an LED fault indicator. The Martindale EZ150 and EZ2500 have this capability built in. So starting with an example of a simple socket tester, there's the BZ101 which provides an audible buzz to indicate a safely connected socket. It also provides an LED indication of the connection status and can identify 28 faults which can be interpreted on the supplied card. The CP501 is similar to the BZ101 but does not provide an audible notification of a safely connected socket. The EZ150 is what's defined as an advanced socket tester, which not only provides an indication of up to 28 wiring faults, but also gives an indication of the earth fault loop impedance. Green LEDs indicate discrete ranges of loop impedances of 0 to 1.7 ohms, 1.7 ohms to 5 ohms, and 5 ohms to 10 ohms. Red LEDs indicate another three ranges up to 500 ohms. If the bottom three LEDs are amber, there's either a low or high voltage and no loop measurements will be done. Similarly, if the earth neutral voltage exceeds 30 volts, it will not proceed. If the bottom three lights are off, the voltage is below approximately 160 volts, so the socket is not necessarily dead. The EZ2500 is a smart and easy to use professional socket tester which, in addition to checking for all the normal wiring faults, carries out an automatic loop test sequence, displaying actual values for earth loop impedance and phase neutral impedance on the built-in LCD. The EZ2500 really makes loop testing easy, with no switches or buttons to worry about and no risk of carrying out the wrong test. It's all done for you.